ready. Now this makes it taste better, right? Right, of course. We're gonna bake it kind of like a s'more. We're gonna let it cook a little bit on top, add some texture, and once it's done steaming, go ahead and cut into it and enjoy. Oh my gosh. What is all that? Wowie, wowie, look at that. <laughs> All right, we are excited because tonight we are finally dining at Resorts World Carver Steakhouse. That's right, a new steakhouse here in Vegas. Yeah, and we've been dying to try this place for quite some time, so it's finally happening. Now, we're a little late. I hope they still have our table. So you ready to rock? I'm ready, let's, let's go. Let's rock. Woo. Oh, well, this is nice. I love walking in. It reminds me of a well, really cool retro. Right? Let's say they've reimagined the classic steakhouse ah, here. Ah, reimagined. Wow, that sounds a little like jobs there. A little reimagining. Like we're on our seats here. Finally! It's a lounge area. I know, now this is nice. It, it, even though it's a lounge area, it still feels like a restaurant vibe seating. A lot of cushions, lots of loud music kind of hovering above us with some old throwback, a little Frankie. And of course, what's the best way for us to kick things off, babe? A little old fashioned. Old fashioned. And the bartender claim it's the best in Vegas. Oh, the gauntlet has been dropped. Cheers, my dear, to a great night. Great night. Let's turn it up. Ooh. Ooh. That's nice. Is that smooth? That is nice. I think yeah. you're, gonna, you're gonna want more of those cherries. I think like so. That. The Italian yeah. cherries are my jam. It's like to soak yeah. those into that delicious old fashioned. Well, A O K. Okay. Hey, high five, <laughs> I'm like super excited. Can you believe the options on this menu? I mean, Jennifer, oh, yeah. if you guys come to this spot, I'm gonna talk to you for a quick second yes. here because our hostess is spot on. That makes the food taste even better when you have a great hostess, right? Absolutely. And there's some great options on the menu. We're gonna try a lot of things. Tonight, so and she's our hand model. Doing, we're just, so we're talking time. about her right now. Yeah, There's the hand. Come on closer. <laughs> it's a hand model. <laughs> we have service is great here. We're super excited to oh, try yeah. it out. There's so many, yeah. so many options on this menu. The thing I like about it is that there's a lot of a lot of great options. But it's not like a diner menu. You know, it's very focused in terms of bringing you the best quality. Ooh, yes, indeed. Let's talk about yeah. this menu first. Let's talk about it. The look of it. Oh, it's yeah. got the branding all over it. The yeah, it's all about how the menu is branded. It looks like a looks like a Christmas box. <laughs> it does. It looks like a Christmas like box, paper. just ready to be unwrapped. Open it up. Wrapping paper. Open like, it up. Throw me that steak, yes, right? Throw exactly. me a little bit of that lobster. Oh, we got stuff coming already oh, here. Oh man, bacon onion bread with yes. melted butter on the top. Wow. And this is butter with a little bit of salt. I don't want to fill start. up though on bread. I know, I'm nervous. I was getting nervous. I, I look at that, I got nervous. I'm like, ooh. That it's looks like they like say really a buffet good. is like, don't eat the pasta or the bread. I know. The problem is like Pringles. You can't just have one piece. It's like, you just can't have one. And I'm going to dive in. Darn good. It sounds really, really good. We're going to have a little bite. Okay, just a little nibble. Just a little bit. Just a little nibble. A little bit. And then we'll get back to the menu. Back to the menu. Okay, so we did so much talking. We didn't I have know. a chance to try that bread before our starters came out. Does that not look amazing? That Jap, what is that, Wagyu burgers? I see some hot dog buns over ah. there. That's what I see. It's like, my goodness gracious, little hot a, dog buns. But it's a Wagyu, Wagyu. cheeseburger. Wagyu cheeseburger. Yes, okay. it's got caramelized onions, like aged provolone, Mornay truffle, and it's a buttered Parker roll, like a hot dog yeah, roll. Yeah, it looks and sounds everything but light. But light, yeah, I know. So anyway, kicking it off here. We'll I know. Appetizer. Might as well start with a light appetizer. Let's do it, baby. My first impression. Yeah. Awesome. Flavor is amazing. It's just a, it kind of melts in your mouth. Boy, that's so good. The bun is crispy and light. Yeah. It's soft. It's doughy. It's got a little butter texture. There's some yeah. cheese that kind of mm. oozes out and melts. It's, it's amazing. I think it's dynamite. Yeah, I think it's dynamite. Now, I just want to say for those interested, the price you is twenty-one bucks. Twenty-one dollars for this delicious thing here. Let's start. You get two. It Let's start. Cha -ching. Cha -ching. Cha -ching. Cha -ching. Cha -ching. We got the uh, caviar popper. Now the caviar poppers is uh, I can't even pronounce this, but it's uh, Gutierrez. Gouillieres, and it says a uh, lemon chive creme fresh. I, I think I might like it. Salty, sweet, right. kind of rhyming there. Now this is just so you know, twenty-two bucks. All right, let's see if it's worth it. Man. Cheers. We'll give it a good bite. Yeah, a good I'm bite. Happy. Good bite. It's exactly what I said. It's a little sweet, a little salty. You don't really taste the caviar so much, like the, the fishiness of a right, caviar. Yeah, no. But you do have that little bit of a lemon feel in there. Definitely a lot of lemon in there, yeah. So it has like a little zest, a little softness, that little puff pastry that is wrapped around. I think that's really good. I think it's right. What surprised Ooh. me is how light it is. Oh, Throw it away. So, 
Makes you want to dance, right? Away. Makes you want to dance. After that little kind of starter feel, how are you feeling? Are you feeling full? Are you feeling ready for the next one? I feel great. I'm really trying to pace things out tonight, which is awesome. Yes. So kind of, and we've ordered some awesome stuff, so stay tuned for that. The idea of these starters are true starters. You know, yes. they looked heavy. I was a little nervous at first. Yeah, Once I sunk my teeth yeah. into them, I thought it worked really well. Rounds out nicely with the cocktail. We got some really great things coming up next. Come a steakhouse. Come a steakhouse. Come on. I don't know what the heck that was, but go with it, we're just, rolling. Just go with we're it. Rolling. So you guys, we have a Slingapore sling here. So I'm gonna try and do it as well as Jennifer would say this. So here we go. Yeah, yeah. So this is a recreation of the classic 1950 recipe with Sip Smith Lemon Drizzle Gin, Cognier, Luxardo Cherry, Benedessin, Pineapple, Lime, Grenadine, and Bitters. So it wow. sounds really okay. like a nice hey guys, sweetness. Give a thumbs up in the comments below because Tanya, did a great job there. Thank you. Give thumbs me some up. thumbs up and leave a Let's comment below. We it. appreciate yeah. that. Let's do a toast. Cheers to a great night. To a great night, babe. Ooh. Okay, you might like this. I, I really it. like it. It is definitely refreshing. Has a little bit of a bite. Almost tastes like a punch. So it doesn't have that super sweet taste. A little bit of that lime kind of popping in there. It's really good. Yeah, almost like a fresh juice. Yes. Like With a punch to it. Yeah. Good. One, two, three. Ooh. Oh, that was perfect. What Looks like here? the lobster came out, which is lobster and croup. Yes, I think that's right. Lobster and croup. Sounds good to me. And the lobster and croup is a two pound lobster. And the guy that brought it over said it was just flown in. It's a wrap puff pastry you saw, kind of looked like a yeah, bread pastry right that came off the top of that. And oh my goodness gracious, it's a lobster cognac cream. Right, kind of goes over the top. It goes over the top. And then they kind of take it off. And then they kind of take it off and, and put it to the, the side. On top. But what they do is take the lobster out put it all wrapped in the cream and then they put it back into the lobster with a puff pastry on top. Yeah, I've never had anything like this before, so never, completely never. unique. So you ready to try this? I'm ready. Mm. Oh my God, that is delicious. Right. It's soft, it's flaky, it's got a buttery texture mm. to it. Yeah. I'm curious to try it with a, a little lobster on it. That is a really good lobster. Good flavor. Creamy, tender. The pastry is nice and soft. I think he said it all. He's got a mouthful. It's not kind of that classic simple lobster. It definitely comes with a lot of flavor. The last time I've seen a, yes. Well, rich. the last time I've seen a lobster like this was at uh, Mayfair Supper Club. It had that very right. kind of similar That's vibe, right. which is super cool. Yeah, right. but it's delicious. Right. That lobster did not have a chance at all. I was trying right. to run away for like half a minute. I was like, get back here. I'm not done with you. It had that, quite the flavor on yeah, it. Yeah, it had lot, lots of flavor. Well, I am looking forward to trying some of this sashimi. Now, if I did not mentioned so the lobster in crude was $95 and it very much reminded us, like we were saying before, reminded us of Mayfair Supper yeah, Club. Yeah, Mayfair Supper Club, yeah, there's a similar dish there. So why don't we give this yellowtail sashimi a try here. I'm gonna All see right. what's in this one here. That has avocado, serrano chili, ginger, lime, ponzu. And that right there is $22 for this here. It looks like they give you different kind of sauces right there to dip. Yeah. Oh yeah, look at that. Oh, that's really good. Lemony zest, a little jalapeno, red pepper. Oh, it's gonna be hot. Mmm, that is wonderful. Nice texture, really nice. I love like yellowtail because it doesn't taste fish. No, not at all. Great flavors around that. What do you think? I think it's great for you. <laughs> it's actually very good. Not fishy at all. It's just not my jam. Now, one cool thing about this place is that there's kind of different areas you can just, you know, decide to eat in. We actually chose the lounge because they have a main dining area and then the patio out back. Yeah, there's like a, a variety of areas to sit in. Like you said, this is, feels very much like a lounge, even with the high kind of tufted oh, yeah, like absolutely. ceilings right next to the bar area, but yet it still has like an ambiance that you're not at a bar. That's and then true. of course you have the back room area, all those spacious seats, and then the outdoor, that would have been fun to sit at, especially now with the weather kind of being perfect with the heat lamps. Maybe next time. Maybe next, Maybe time. next time. Maybe next time. <laughs> Maybe next time. Now, it's just a great opportunity for us to warm up for the main event before that exactly. main event comes. Here at Carver Steak, you get to choose your own oh, weapon. Oh, choose our own weapon. Because all these steak knives are custom made. Barber Ooh, That's okay. So I've never seen anything like this. Right, it's, it's, it's really fun. Right? I, think, I think the idea was a combination of Harry Potter meets so. Star Wars. Anyone have like that black, Which uh, is that wand calling it? The black that. crystal. This one right here? Yeah, now look at the blade. It has this like. Oh, yes. Very beautiful marble. Look at that design. Right. Dave's picking his wand, you guys. I love it. Oh, yeah. nice. You're very welcome. Oh, talk about Carver. I, I thought this was such a neat idea. Yeah. Like, where did they get this from? Harry Potter? You think the idea of choose your wand, like you were suggesting? Or, or Star Wars. Or Star Wars. Yeah, I love this one, though. It's really neat. I love that she said pick this one because it has, like, that sort of marble design yeah, on the uh, actual blade itself. Here's his basely. Basely. So does nothing slips out of those hands. It's good to have. Exactly. You got clumsy hands? You need a beastly knife to take clumsy hands.
All right. Tell us so, the steaks. Let's see. So we have the Miyazaki Wagyu strip loin. It's actually $52 an ounce. So we're Ooh. getting four ounces of that. It's basically Japanese A5 Wagyu. That's going to be really, really slow and oh, enjoy yeah. that flavor because dang. I know. And we ordered it uh, medium as well. And then we're also getting domestic Wagyu, a rib cap, an eight ounce Snake River Farm, Eastern Idaho. Flavor. So here's the question now. What do you yeah. start with first? Because if you start with like the best, the best first, the other one's going to taste like crap. I will feel like you start with the best just because it's less and you want to have it when it's like hot. And it's 52 hours an ounce. You want to get it and while it's... a damn lot of money. But I feel like the domestic wagon will hold the heat better. I just hope uh, we actually film and just sort of like heat it down before we actually can show it. I don't know, maybe. <laughs> it's the A5 Miyazaki. Look how tiny that is. Of course, the asparagus. Yeah, and there's the mac and cheese. <laughs> ah. <laughs> This looks unbelievable. Looks amazing. Looks so, really delicious. We haven't had a Japanese A5 Wagyu in a while. So. Oh, nothing. I mean, the last time we had it was that with Gordon Ramsay's steak. It might be, which is awesome. This is amazing. By the way, yeah, yeah. We were told to try this. You try a little bit of the, the Iyasaki. Yeah. And now, again, this is $54 an ounce. Yeah. And you'll try it with a little bit of the mushrooms and then the shishitos. He recommends putting a little sauce. I think I'll do that second. What about right. you? Just try it yeah, by itself right. first. Yeah, I think maybe I'll put the sauce on the side and dip it when I do have that. All right, so I'm going to go for the middle. I, I want to tell you about this, how it melts in the mouth. Oh, wow. I feel like the uh, experience we had at Gordon Ramsay steak almost like spoiled our Japanese A5, where our expectations are so, so high. So high. We'll see how this All right, let's give it a shot. Cheers. Oh my gosh. Speechless. Yeah. It's so good. It's just, there's nothing quite like Japanese day 5 Wagyu. Boy, it's good. The flavor is perfect. It really just kind of melts away in your mouth as you do it. The mushrooms, you're so right. That flavor just melts in your mouth. Top that with a little bit of that mushroom. The flavor is so good for a mushroom. Meaty, creamy, of very course nice. we love shishito peppers, but that is dynamite. That is, that is good. so good. Wow. Oh, that is heavy. Yum, yum. Very Give me some nice. more. Oh my, and it cuts right through with the knife. Just one pull. I'm gonna try a little dip, and maybe I'll try a little, little dip, dip, of, dip with the sauce. Yeah. Mm, here we come, well, nice and sauce. Too. It's funny, it definitely does not mm, need sauce. No. Sure. It's almost like a sesame kind of vibe. Um, the sauce is, it, it takes oh, yeah. away from the meat. Right. It's nice, but the That's flavor of the meat is so good. You don't need it. Oh, oh you got a spicy one. There's always spicy, one in a yeah. pack. Love the Cheetos. That's a spicy one. Yeah. Mm. It's very well, good. Enjoy. Oh. I'll show you. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> very you good. Like they just can't stop dancing. I feel like that that wait. Awesome 80s kind of thing. Going yeah, and, and on every bite, I'm like every I'm not bite. taking a break. I'm just biting something else. Like, ooh, so good. I'm looking for more of that spicy sashito out here. We're coming down to the last few pieces of this wagyu. Yeah. Time for a little slow motion chew. You ready? I'm ready. Here we go. Savor that flavor. It's like the slower you chew, the more flavor spews out. All right, you said a little of this spicy stuff? It is amazing how it's It's funny because awesome. you always say this and then my mouth is on fire. Oh, you're gonna love it. And I go, oh, you're gonna love it. <laughs> it's amazing. <coughs> Woo, you tricked me. Try a little bit of the domestic wagon rib cap. And it, I gotta say, it cuts like really nice. We asked for medium, it looks perfect. Just I think you know, I'm okay. I'm, I'm gonna stay with anything spicy at the moment. I'll I will try the meat. Yeah, try the meat. I'll let you because the shito could have a little spice. Woo! Yeah, it's kind of like after I had that reaper. You tricked me on that one. I got to get you now twice. Uh, trouble. Oh, Oh, that's really good. A little charred topping. So that domestic rib cap is just a Snake River Farm. Yeah. Eastern Idaho, that's it. That probably just salt and pepper. It's what perfect. What does it taste like? It's perfect. And that rib cap is a $70 cut. I nice. would certainly get this again. I think this is actually, if you love rib cap, this is a great rib cap here in Vegas. I mean, look at the color. That's perfect. Great color. Little pink on the inside. Yeah, this is absolutely one of the best, if not the best rib caps you'll get in Vegas. It's very good. It's not just good, it's very good. good you seem to say that a lot. Very good. That means you really like it. Yeah, what do you think? Very good. <laughs> Very good. Of course, I, tell you, I gotta tell you, I am definitely feeling stuff. We've got a lot to eat tonight. I know, yeah. and I'm really feeling that too now. I'm gonna have to say, between the A5 Wagyu and the rib cap, I prefer 
the rib cap tonight? Yeah, I have to say in terms of overall value, I think this domestic Wagyu rib cap is great. Yeah. It's a very good value here, and I think ordering again, we would probably just go for that. I agree. Great. Absolutely agree. Now, I am definitely making room for that dessert stomach. How about you? Dessert Always. stomach! Dessert oh, stomach! It's empty, man. I, it's empty? It's empty. High five Second for that. stomach. Yeah, that just makes it taste better, right? Right, of course. Absolutely. So, we're going to bake it kind of like a s'more. Okay. So we're gonna let it cook a little bit on top, add some texture. There's a coconut cake under the bottom. Mix very so there in the middle. And once it's done steaming, go ahead and cut into it and enjoy. Wow, what a presentation. Very good. And it, the smell, it is like a s'mores. Now right? it's a coconut cake in there. So do you want the honors of cutting it? Oh, I think you're going diving in there. I wanna see you cut. You wanna see me get the cut? Absolutely. Oh my gosh. Woo! Wow, what is all that? This ice cream and sorbet and coconut and wowie, wowie, look at that. Woo. There it goes. Let's give this a shot. It's, a, right. it's a baked Nevada, so it's almost like a baked Alaska, but Nevada. The marshmallow is kind of nice. That's probably where the coconut yeah. vibe is. I really taste that sherbet though. Isn't that really That's good? Trying, yeah. It's not too heavy too. No. It looks like crazy heavy, but it's really not. And it cleanses the palate. Cleanses the palate. Yeah. Cleanses the palate. Cleanse the palate. I feel like we got like three desserts in one. That's gonna last a while. We're gonna have to take some of that home with us. It's ice cream. It might not make it. <laughs> we gotta drive fast. I like this out of that. Oh, oh my gosh. I am stuffed. <laughs> I am so stuffed. You know what I think, babe? What? I think it's time to. So give it to Nah! Give it to Nah! Give it to Nah! Give it to Nah! That was so much fun. That was a lot of fun. I am so excited that we went there, and I am gonna say, what do you think of Carver's Steak overall? Great steakhouse. We need to kind of think about where it ranked the Vegas Steakhouse world. So yeah, we'll have to ponder that we'll one. Think about that. Yeah, and if you've been to Carver's Steakhouse before, let us know in the comment section below what you think of Carver's Steakhouse. We actually had a great time. Hey, and take a second if you have not done so. We are on the road to 100,000 subscribers, you guys. So if you have not done so, take a second, please. Hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you get a every time we post something new and exciting. As always, thanks for joining us, world fam, and we look forward to seeing y'all in Las Vegas and maybe at Carver Steakhouse. All right, so I wanted to say something really quick. I felt like we met so many of our awesome subscribers here at Resort World tonight, and it was so much fun to see them out and having fun and really enjoying Vegas. And we just want to say thank you so much. You know, it's an honor for us to be able to meet you guys out here having fun in Las Vegas, right, Dave? Oh, absolutely. It's all the thrill. It's just great meeting folks from all over the world. Yeah, so if you're coming to Las Vegas and you're out and about and you see us out, stop and say hello, because we love, we love that.